I invented a new scale of uh, how to compare disasters by threat level. Mm. Okay. To humanity, so I invented a whole new system and chart for I think, that. I think with me, yeah. we, we, what I used to have in the old book was um, nature made, AI made, and, and uh, mad scientist or man made, essentially, right? Those are the three kind of yeah. levels. Uh, but but then you're you're talking about the threat level of each, whether it's like total yeah, yeah, destruction. Yeah, because I didn't want to categorize it by some sort of arbitrary category. It's, like, so, it's, uh, it's basically source. Did it. Yeah, well, I did it like source. Like this, where is it coming from? Is it coming from yeah. natural man or uh, AI? I that that also also of course you want to have, distinguish that somehow because I called it uh, the, the system. I called it uh, human endangerment by catastrophe threat index chart, which. Uh, short uh, for hectic hectic <laughs> that's a good one that's probably one of our better uh better uh how hectic <laughs> my, are you? how my. hectic what's your hectic level i like it that's awesome uh, so uh that's uh, was a bit accidentally inspired uh, so what i ma- basically what it means is i think it's a pretty neat because it basically has like six by six levels hmm. and uh the idea is it's inspired actually by uh because I looked at the various scales that exist and found out that it's really not that well thought out mm. uh, for some reason. And the scale that's actually the best that I use as inspiration is Torino scale. Have you ever heard of Torino scale? No, I'm not. Like it's... nobody did. Uh, everybody knows like Richter scale yep. or like a uh, Fujita with the tornadoes, like the F four, F five stuff. Yeah. But that's like as an exa- as examples, like Richter and Fujita are strength of the power behind the earthquake and resulting destruction yeah. level. But it's power derived from the power. But the thing is, if you're dealing with the threat to humanity, there's always a question of time frame. Mm. That's important. Like you're not just caring about how powerful it will be, you're caring about how far off it is right. in the future. And the only scale that factors in the probability in any way, uh to Show how you should, how much you should care about it, is actually the Torino scale, which is for asteroid impacts, hmm. because the, it's partially also like how big the asteroid is is one axis. So like how much destructive it would be if it hit, like how much kinetic energy we're talking about. So it's not even just like the size of the asteroid, but kinetic energy, meaning combination of how hard it would hit with how big it is. But on the other is like the chance of hitting Earth. Right. And if you think about it, you can always translate the chance of being hit into how much time until you're hit. Hmm. Yeah, That's basically the, the same mathematical concept, just looking at it differently. Because the like how long it would, it would take, uh, that's a perspective of floods. You say a hundred year flood. And that sort of explains like, oh, that's a kind of flood that should occur once every hundred years. So it's a bit like combining the, the, the flood thing with the Torino scale. Uh, but what you get is that uh, the uh, one axis in this scale is how many people will be negatively affected, like are actually endangered by, by the event. So that's one scale. And I basically did it as a series of words that, again, very conveniently all begin with C. Uh, so I have like a community, city, country, continent, civilization, and the final level is continuation. Ah, I like it. So. That also worked out fairly well. The, the, and on the other axis, it is uh, uh, the uh, like basically T minus years. Like in how many years is it expected to hit statistically? Right. So if you have something like that's uh, below 10 years from now, and it's like uh, threatening the continuation of life as we know it, then that's the highest possible threat. Mm. But if it's just like a, a community may be affected in 100,000 years, then it's basically... No threat. So what, what, were the, um, what were the six levels? Did you just do it by 10? 10 years, 100 years, 1,000? Or did you do uh, like let, 10, Let me 20? just, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll share, the, share the screen and I'll show you what it looks like. So I think it's but really hard for humans to think about anything that's a, more than 100 years out, you know? It's like sure, they don't but even th- care. There's like one final, that's fine for that. There's one final twist to the scale. Uh, I'll just have to share the screen. The other big challenge with time is the further out you go, the less accurate your... Uh, your analysis might be because there's so many sure, changes but that's to right? sort of expected. Like statistics are probabilistic yeah. by nature; it's not certainty based. Yeah, your uh, so, your, your baseline changes significantly year to year. And you see it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so we got threat. Uh, I do like the community, city, country, continent, civilization, continuation. That's great. That's awesome. So then, threat t minus years. 
So a hundred thousand plus years, good. Ten thousand, a hundred thousand. Yeah. So you did. You went by tens mostly. Yeah. Order. Yeah. By order magnitude. Yeah. That makes sense. It's uh, it's definitely the ones the less than ten years and ten to a hundred years that would be the most relevant. Anything further than that, it's definitely worth considering. You're right, but it, people would not think it is much very re- relevant to what's going to happen a thousand years from now. It's mostly just conjecture yeah. and fun. But uh, and the the final twist is if you see like what the number, of course, it there's like six by six, so it's zero to six are the levels of threat. Yeah, but it's not just a number for a level of threat. The number still means uh, like the scale. The number means like corresponds with the scale of response. Mm-hmm. So if it's like level five, then it basically means that civilization, whole civilization, should be working on it. Right, 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 right. Makes sense. So like the the level of resources that should be applied to address it. I see, I see. So the community. If it's just a threat to the community, only the community cares about it. If it's a threat to the city, but it's 100 years out, only the community should care about it. Interesting. That's an interesting way of thinking about it. So if it's a threat That's to sort of the continent... organically came out of it. Yeah, if it's a threat to the country, you're to saying all of civilization should be considering a threat to one country if it's less than 10 years out. That makes sense to me. If it's just a threat to a city then that continent should be thinking about it. Yeah, that makes sense too. So it's like a Katrina would Just be... Just like roughly. Yeah, roughly, roughly. I like it. And then uh, if it's a threat to the community, the whole city should consider it for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. That's actually pretty good. I think that's a neat uh, way of... Yeah. of uh, and you just put through it together. So what's the name of the whole scale then? You have, you have to, hectic. Hectic is the name of the hectic scale. Hectic is the is the, the name he- of the hectic scale. 